So today we're going to be taking a brief look at the Miniray Lite PID monitor from Ray Systems. Now the Miniray Lite is a more simple PID monitor uh, which is basically designed to take spot check measurements primarily for the environmental remediation sector. So here you can see that we've got an online uh, display of what the reading is and if we press the no minus button we can scroll across and it will give us several options. So mine's set up so that you start and stop sampling so it's asking me to stop sampling here so if we just ignore that. So we have a peak value now this is uh, good if you're doing headspace analysis as this enables you to do your headspace analysis and see what the peak value is. In between wise you can clear the value so if we clear this now it will say yes. So now that's cleared the peak value and as you can see we've got ambient point 0.2 conditions so the peak value is still at point 0.2. Um, we've got date and time and then we've got enter PC communications mode. Now that's not really necessary for this version of the instrument as you're not going to be doing much on a PC because it's non-data logging. So if we press power and no we can get into the calibration menu. Now it's asking for a password here so if I press zero, zero, zero and zero. Now we've got a few menus here, so we've got calibration menu, alarms menu and monitor setup. Now for us the only real menu that we're going to be using is the calibration menu and the alarms menu. So if we go into the calibration menu now, so under here we've got zero calibration, span calibration and bump. So we're going to do a quick zero calibration. So my monitor has been running for 15 minutes which has allowed all the electronics to warm up. So if I now select zero calibration, now it's asking for a zero gas. Now in this situation ideally we need to be in an atmosphere which has no contaminants of VOC. So the best place is outside. Now outside has very low ambient levels of VOCs such that on this version of the monitor you're unlikely to see anything with the resolution of 0.1 ppm. So assume we're outside now we just press start and this will now on zero for 30 seconds. So the unit is now zeroed and is reading 0.0, .0 ppm and has now gone into span calibration next in the list. Now we're going to be using 100 ppm isobutylene gas here. I don't know if you can see that. So 100 ppm isobutylene gas and we are going to now drop into the span calibration. So we now press select. Now it's asking for what type of gas we're using and the span value. Now we are using 100 ppm isobutylene and as such we don't need to change the value here. So at this point we say no. Now it's asking for the gas to be applied. So if I take my gas, turn it on fully. You will see the unit has started to auto calibrate there and it will now take 30 seconds to calibrate. So we're now entering the last few seconds of the calibration phase of the mini ray light. It will now display the live value which is 100 ppm spot on. Right, so we now remove the gas. And if we press back and back again you will see that will save the calibration. Now if we drop back into that menu, now it won't ask for the password a second time because we've already entered it. So if we go to the alarm settings and press yes we can now change alarm values here. Now this is useful yet again for headspace analysis for the environmental sector because you don't want to be having alarms going off constantly as you're not using the mini or APID in that spec. So if we now press select for high alarm you can see that uh, readings are displayed in PPB but this is now set at 100 ppm for the alarm value now you can change this to whatever you want if you change it to all zeros then you just won't have an alarm low alarm same that's set at 50 ppm change it to all zeros you won't have an alarm or you can go to alarm mode here 
Now you've got auto reset. Now this is basically where the unit goes into an alarm when it's detected a sufficiently high level and then when it clears down to a sufficiently low level it'll drop back out of the alarm. You've got latching which means when it drops into an alarm you have to press a button to allow it to drop back out of the alarm. And those are your two options. So mine's an auto reset here. Under alarm settings you've also got buzzer and light. So if we select this you have both on, light only, buzzer only, or both off. Now if we put both off, press done, save, the unit will now no longer have any alarms on it whatsoever. So under monitor setup, literally in the mini-ray light we have date, time, language, power on zero. Now what that means is the unit will ask to be zeroed at the point that the power is turned on. I'd recommend not using this. Your LCD contrast, and that's it. So, that's your quick introduction to the mini ray light and calibration of a mini ray light. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at www.environst.com or on 01904 373 018. Thanks for watching.